there are two treatments, as I said. So basically both of them are both called The Batman Movie Treatment by Steve Englehart. And the first one is dated March 21st, 1986. We open not with the death of the Waynes, but with the death of the Graysons. Mm. Yes, indeed. So Andrew and I covered this a little bit in the Patreon for our... We did the whole dive into the Origins of Robin episode, but in Englehart's original opening in the circus show in Gotham Garden, which is like the Madison Square Garden for Gotham City, the Graysons are on the trapeze when John Grayson starts laughing and laughing harder and laughing so hard that he drags his wife Mary down and they fall and they succumb to the effects and they die in front of their son Dick Grayson uh yeah I know Dick is wearing an all red costume as you can see in this comic book panel uh which will become Robin's red vest according to Englehart's treatment now this is one of the first instances or the first instance in history I could find where someone said Dick Grayson's acrobat costume is meant to foreshadow his turn as Robin because we see this all the time now especially you know Batman Forever they're flat out wearing the Robin suit when they're up there. But so you're saying Engelhart's a genius. <laughs> <laughs> he is somewhat. Uh, <laughs> no, great, great comic book writer. Kind of has some bold claims in terms of what took stuff from his, but we'll get into that. Uh, but Dick Grayson sees the death of his parents, and lo and behold, who shows up but Batman. Uh, indeed. And indeed. Batman, of course, meets the event manager of the Gotham Garden. This is not Haley of Haley Circus. This is Silver St. Cloud. So this is how Englehart oh, sort of ties shit. Silver St. Cloud into it, is that she's the one who is tied into the circus, which I thought was very smart. Uh, Batman also meets Dick Grayson at this point, and Dick Grayson demands to see the bodies of his parents, and Batman, who can of course relate to this, allows him to do so, and as he does, he has his own flashback to 16 years earlier in 1970, when he and Thomas and Martha Wayne were walking back home from, quote, any Warner's movie from the period that evokes high adventure. <laughs> So, again, let's remember... And has 10-plus brides. <laughs> that's right. That's a Bob Kane thing. Uh, yeah, but yeah, yeah, that's true. Let's remember, Mark of Zorro had not been established quite yet. 